Hello everyone and welcome back to Phantom Sports Industries. My name is Joe Soison. I'm a contributor for Phantom's hockey content. Today, the NHL playoffs are well underway, but if you haven't kept up through the regular season, here are the players to watch during the postseason. These are my top 10 players in the NHL playoffs. And number 10 from the Dallas Stars, Jason Robertson. Look, Dallas has had a string of really solid regular season performances and some deep postseason runs, and one major reason why is Jason Robertson. This wasn't his best year statistically, but he still played all 82 regular season games, he led Dallas in total points, and was third on the team in goals. You gotta remember, this is on a lineup with guys like Tyler Sagan, Joe Pavelski, Rope Hintz, Miro Haskinen, and Jamie Benn. All of those guys are NHL veterans, and a lot of them were on that Dallas Stars team that made the Stanley Cup Finals in the bubble. Robertson was there too, but he didn't play in those playoffs. Now, he's the top player on the top team out of the Central Division. And number nine, Philip Forsberg from the Nashville Predators. Look, Nashville struggled offensively through the vast majority of the regular season. But in the second half, Philip Forsberg turned on the Jets. He had 48 goals and 46 assists. Both were personal bests for a season. Those 48 goals, by the way, were the sixth most in the league. And no one on that team is close to him. Ryan O'Reilly has 26 goals. Roman Yossi is nine points behind Forsberg, but that's with 62 assists. And there's a clutch factor with Forsberg's game. 11 game-winning goals this year. That's tied for the second most in the league. By the way, Forsberg enters the playoffs with 53 points in 75 games. Those are impressive postseason numbers. And a clutch player with playoff experience makes for a dangerous combo. So if Nashville makes a deep playoff run, you can bet it will be off the back of Philip Forsberg. At number 8 from the New York Rangers, Artemi Panarin. What a season for the left winger. 49 goals is a career high. 71 assists is three short of a career high. And 120 total points blows his career high out of the water. By the way, that's the fourth most points and fifth most goals in the NHL this season. The next closest player on the team is Vincent Trocek with 77 points. Look, the Rangers are a stacked lineup, President's Trophy winners, but Vegas learned last year that your top line has to win. You can have scoring depth, but your starters are on the ice for half the game. If they don't win, you don't win. And that's what Artemi Panarin has done for the Rangers this year. He has won the battles, he has put up the points, and that is why he is having a spectacular season, and he is a major contributor to the number one team through the regular season in the NHL. And number seven from the Winnipeg Jets, Connor Hellebuck. You know me, I gotta include at least one goalie on this list, so why not one of the Vesna Trophy favorites? Hellebuck went 37-19-4 this year, but what's really impressive are his individual stats. Second best save percentage in the league, and fourth best goals against average in the league. He also had five shutouts. Now he does benefit from being on a roster with a great defense. They allowed the 11th least total shots against this season. But he is in a tough division. You've got Colorado with the number one goals per game average in the league. Dallas is third in that category. Nashville's ninth. Arizona's right behind Winnipeg's offense. And you've even got at the bottom of the division, the Chicago Blackhawks with Connor Bedard who's racking up points. And yet, in that tough division, in that tough schedule, Hellebuck continued to thrive. And you can bet that if the Jets make a deep postseason run, you'll have Connor Hellebuck to thank for it. And number six from the Vancouver Canucks, Quinn Hughes. Look, Vancouver really popped this season and won the Pacific Division, and Quinn Hughes was a massive reason why. 
He had the most points and assists of any defenseman in the NHL. He also tied for the sixth most goals and had the fourth best plus minus of any defenseman. Personal best season for Quinn Hughes by far and away. This will be his second ever postseason appearance. And last time he made the postseason, he played great. 16 points in 17 games. He's also only 24 years old, so he's got a long NHL career ahead of him, and I can't wait to see what he does this year with the Canucks having home ice advantage. And number five from the Toronto Maple Leafs, Austin Matthews. How could I not include the league's top goal scorer? 69 goals this regular season. To put that in perspective, Austin Matthews' goal per game ratio is 0.85. That is insane for this level. And what's even more wild is the gap he has on the rest of the league. The next closest player is Sam Reinhart with 57 goals. The one thing that's plagued Austin Matthews is that his team has struggled to win these playoff series until last year. That momentum and belief matters. And once again, minimizing mistakes is key. Austin Matthews tied his career high plus minus from last year. So look out for him this postseason, especially in that Boston series. Boston gives up a lot of chances and Austin Matthews won't take those for granted. And number four from the Tampa Bay Lightning, Nikita Kucherov. Look, I think he deserves the Hart Trophy this year. Tampa Bay was disappointed with their results last year. Early this year, Vasilevsky was out with injury. The defense gave up a lot more goals this year. Some of the top performers on this Lightning team have a negative plus minus. So what does Kucherov do? He gets the most points in the league. 44 goals, 10th in the NHL, and ties for the most assists in the league with 100. He won the Hart Trophy in 2018-2019, and he's got much better numbers this year. And if Tampa makes another championship run, you can bet that Kucherov will be in the discussion for the Conn Smythe. And number three for the Boston Bruins, David Pasternak. On a year where two of the biggest names in Bruins hockey history retired, Pasternak popped off. He played all 82 games, had a career-high 63 assists, plus 47 goals, which was 7th most in the league. He finished 5th in the league in total points, and a reminder, his lineup wasn't always consistent. Petrus had that season-ending injury back on January 9th, and Pasternak never slowed down. After a record-setting season last year, everyone thought that Boston would take a slight step back this year, but Boston was only one point shy of winning the Atlantic Division for the second year in a row, largely in part due to Pasternak's efforts. And number two from the Colorado Avalanche, Nathan McKinnon. The number two point scorer in the league gets number two on my list. On a year where Colorado had some injuries to overcome and goaltending was streaky at times, McKinnon stepped up his game, had a personal best in every major skater statistic. Goals, points, assists, plus minus. The only stat he didn't improve on from last year was total power play goals. By the way, there's no drop in consistency when in the postseason. In 77 playoff games, he's got 100 points, 44 of which are goals. And he's positive 32 all time in plus minus in the postseason. He's the heart and soul of this team, and he is one of, if not the, smartest player in the NHL. And number one from the Edmonton Oilers, Connor McDavid. At 27 years old, he's playing some of his best hockey right now. 100 assists this year, which is somehow only tied for the most assists in the league. Pair that with a substantial 32 goals this season, gives him the third most points in the league. He also hit a personal best plus minus this regular season, finishing at positive 35. 
Watch him in the All-Star Skills Competition. He does everything the other stars of the league do, but faster. And noteworthy is his last two playoff performances. In 28 playoff games, he's got 18 goals and 35 assists. So not only is he starting to win playoff series, but he's still racking up the points and mitigating mistakes. He's playing smarter hockey, which is why Connor McDavid is the player to watch this postseason. And that's going to be it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like our content, be sure to scroll down below on this video and click that like button. And while you're down there, be sure to click the subscribe button to get notified of future uploads to this very channel. Also, be sure to check out our official website. That's phantomsportsindustries.com. Once again, my name has been Joe Soison, and from the rest of Phantom Sports Industries, we hope to see more of you next time.